up, drugged, beaten, forced to perform sex acts for money. Tonight, we have new information to share in a sex trafficking bust in Dallas County. Thank you for joining us at 6 o'clock. I'm Doug Dunbar. And I'm Robbie Owens. Stunning new details tonight in a sex trafficking operation that lasted nearly three years. Yona Gavino is telling us how police say the suspects were able to get away with this for so long. The house is now empty, surrounded by bags of trash. Authorities say they used locks and cameras to keep the women from leaving. Here on the 3700 block of Morris Street, many knew Bailey Jane Hands and Desmond Bethany, including next door neighbor Sandra. I've seen him a couple, not recently, because they're night people, I'm dead people. They were arrested for conspiracy to engage in sex trafficking. Shock me, being next door. The criminal complaint says one victim was able to escape when she jumped into an ice cream truck and begged the driver to take her to police. Sandra says Hans and Bethany weren't friendly. They wouldn't even say hi or nothing. That strike you as odd. Yeah, it struck me as odd. So I just said it won't be bothered. Court documents reveal Bethany raped some of the women, beat them with his fists, and with items like boxing gloves and clothes hangers, punishment for not making enough money. A neighbor was home when authorities raided the house. Dude, they had an armored tank that bust the, 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 the gate down, and they bust out. They had rifles on, and they had uh, suited police. Records obtained by CBS 11 reveal Bethany was arrested before for trafficking in 2012 and 2014. In Dallas, Yona Govino, CBS 11 News.